Nice to be here. Nice uh, seeing you all. It was a great day weather-wise. That's something we can all talk about, right? Weather was nice today. I, uh, I'm from Chicago, where we get all extremes, and I know it gets pretty cold here, but there's a guy in front of me at the gas station who was complaining, because it was about 88 degrees, and I said, what's going on with that? I was curious. He says, you know what? I don't like this heat. He goes, I realize on a day like this, I'm more of a winter person. I'm like, are you? Yeah, me too. I like winter. I like it when I go outside and I smile and my face rips. You know what? Summer is horrible. <laughs> Wish I could just breathe out of one side of my nose. Wouldn't that be ideal? Like that, and I'm upside down in a ditch in my car spinning. Wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> oh, I would love that. But I see myself turning into that guy. You know, the older I get, the more I complain about stuff. When you're in your 20s, you don't care about anything now. I, 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 I'm just trying so hard not to be that guy. You know, the guy that, like, doesn't want to learn anything, so he just says everything. Ah, we didn't need any of that nonsense. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, that guy? He's like 85 years old. Ah, don't give me all that. You and your stupid computers. <laughs> but you watch that, and you try to avoid that. But I gotta be honest, when my kids come home with a $400 game system, it's pretty hard not for me to just involuntarily blurt out whatever happened to Light Bright. You know, at some point I'm gonna say that. I would destroy you at Light Bright. It's not even competitive, but I would take you down. Because I have extra bulbs. That's how I win at Light Bright. Anybody have that game, Light Bright? When I was a kid, Operation was state of the art. How about that one, Operation? Oh my, it was like the pinnacle of technology. I'm just, we should all just die today. Nothing will expand me on these capabilities. You're simulating surgery. Best part about that game, not just the fun of it, but it prepared you for the future, and you didn't even realize it while you are playing it. How about that? Prepared you for the future. And I'll give you an example. Three days ago, I'm trying to get this piece of toast out with a fork while it's still plugged in. <laughs> I pretended it was a left-wrenched ankle. <laughs> and I don't burn toast. Pretty hard to burn toast in this day and age. A lot of it has to do with that dial on the side of the toaster. You know the one I'm talking about. The regulator. Simple concept. Further you take this thing to the right, darker the toast gets. If you take it all the way to the right, far as you can take it, what happens? Anyone? It burns it, destroys it, ruins it. It blackens it beyond recognition. Why do they allow the dial to go that far? Like what? <laughs> what is the point of that setting? We're designing every toaster for the one guy that enjoys black toast. <laughs> Why are we catering to him? Think about it, the toaster has a setting designed to destroy whatever goes in it. There's a part that says, this is where you're gonna ruin it. No other home appliance gives you that. So you can go, hey, you know what, my shirt's dirty. Can you set that washing machine to rip the buttons off in the rinse cycle? It'd be sweet if you could shrink it to the size of a monkey and stain the collar green. I've got a job interview on Tuesday. I'd love to have that shrunken green collared monkey stain shirt. I'm sure to get the position with that on my back. Subscribe to Drybar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.